I am ignoring my ex, but I don't want to. Should I still pulling away? Hello guys and welcome to Love Advice TV. I'm Alex Comment, your relationship expert. In today's video, I really want to help you to understand why it's important to pull away when you're in a process of get back with the one you love. It's not just about ignoring your ex. It's also about taking the time to change. Most of the time, I can guarantee you that a no contact will help you to rebuild the communication. So if you are telling me, Alex, I'm actually ignoring my ex, but I don't want you. I'm suffering from this situation. The first thing that you have to do is to always put actions in place. I want you to be confident. I want you to try new activities. I want you to, do, to go to the gym, to go for a run, to do yoga, meditation because it's time to rebuild your emotions. It's not the final action. It will not just be to no contact my ex because then we will never have the communication. The no contact or the situation of ignoring your ex, it's just for a short term. Four weeks, it's not that bad. And then we will try to reach out to him, but not to talk about the breakup, about the past, about what you have learned, because when we do that, oh, it should be just in a letter, okay? Because if you spoke too much about your past, your ex will be always focusing on what happened and also about the bad things. So I know you want to talk to your ex, but be serious. I want you to be 100% frank with yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready to talk to him or to talk to her? Are you ready to rebuild the chemistry? Are you ready to avoid the love, the feelings, the past, to not just try to have a communication where you want to have the right answers because that is not what is going to make you your ex come back. So I know it's not easy. I know doing a no contact, it's not natural too because you really love that person. So you want to express your love. But the problem is if you do that now, your ex will think that you are not able to change. So I don't know your specific situation. I don't know for how long are you trying to ignore your ex, but I can guarantee you that four weeks to six weeks doing in the no contact, it's not a bad thing. It can help you rebuild the communication. To the opposite, if you tell me that you're talking to your ex and everything was great and you just learned about the no contact and you did it, but without really understanding why, I can understand that now you need to change. Now maybe it's time to recommunicate with your ex, but to always show the new version of yourself. I know I insist in, on my videos to tell you that we need to change. We need to show what is really new about you because this is what is bringing your ex thinking that you are the one for him or for her. So if you are watching this video, you need to understand that ignoring your ex is not the final action. It's just one step to rebuild the communication and to rebuild the attraction. Ask yourself, are you the best version of yourself? Are you really ready to talk to him or to talk to her? If it's yes, just go for it. But if it's no, it's time to challenge yourself. And maybe you need a coach. So come on with myexagain.com slash coaching. And I will be here for you. I can help you make your ex come back. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Give me a like and please, subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel. We have created this love advice community based on withmyexagain.com because we really want to help you to understand how can you change your life? How can you be happy with the one you love? Because it's possible and it's not just the no contact. It's what is happening during the no contact and after the no contact. I will see you soon for a new video. Bye bye guys.